gentlemen first of all i would like to say thank you to all of you for joining bravo 2022 international conference entrepreneurship innovation and creativity well before we start our presentation let me introduce myself i am muri chaya handaru sst mds as a moderator of keynote speaker in bravo 2022 Ladies and gentlemen, the presentation today is about the electrifying Nikola Tesla. Now I will read one by one the agenda for this session. The one is opening, the second is introduction, the third is presentation time with duration 30 minutes, the fourth is question and answer session with duration 15 minutes, and the five is closing. Ladies and gentlemen, and now second session introduction. I will explain the biography for keynote speaker. He is Prof. Adrian David Chok, PhD. Prof. Adrian David Chok, PhD, is a director of the Imagineering Institute Malaysia, full professor in I University Tokyo and CEO of Nikola Tesla Technologies Corporation. He is founder and director of the MIPS Reality Lab Singapore. He was formerly professor of Professive Computing, University of London, full professor and executive dean at Keio University Graduate School of Media Design and associate professor in the National University of Singapore. He has previously worked in real-time system, soft computing, and embed computing in Mitsubishi Electric Research Labs, Japan. In 2019, the Governor General of Australia, representative of Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, has awarded Australia highest honor the Order of Australia to Adrian David Chow for his contribution to internal education and research. He has been working on research covering mixed reality, human computer interfaces, wearable computer and ubiquitous computing, fuzzy systems, embedded system and power electronics. So to certain time, the next agenda is presentation session for Prof. Adrian David Chok, PhD. Prof. Adrian David Chok, PhD. Please take, take your time in 30 minutes to present your topic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, um, I'm uh, very honored to be invited to this conference. Thank you to the Dean and uh, everyone else uh, who is organizing the conference. Thank you, Wuri, for your uh, great speeches, um, uh, for your great introduction, sorry. Um, so today, um, because, this talk, because this conference is about innovation, creativity, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, I want to talk about uh, someone who can give great inspiration to all of us, um, especially the uh, uh, young young people starting their careers uh, to be able to be uh, very creative and uh, entrepreneurial and uh, to have uh, uh, a great creativity. And um, the person I'm talking about is um, a person you may, you may have heard, of course you heard maybe the Tesla car, but the Tesla car is named after Nikola Tesla, probably one of the most uh, creative geniuses of our time. 
uh, and great inventor. And I think he can be a fantastic inspiration for everyone because uh, even today, his technologies uh, greatly affect all of society. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we can take great inspiration uh, from him. Um, so uh, let me just uh, briefly outline Nikola Tesla's life. Uh, he was born in uh, what was then Croatia. Uh, but he's, he's a Serbian uh, background. Um, he, dis he discovered the AC motor, which we still use everywhere today, um, in about 1882. He was selected to uh, the famous Colombian expedition to show his AC electricity um, in 1893. In 1894, he developed a huge power station in Niagara Falls to generate electricity from from the running water. So uh, he he uh, made hydroelectricity uh, more than 100 years, 100 years ago, he invented it. And uh, then he, later on in his life, he did more and more experiments on fantastic inventions. Uh, first of all, in Cold Springs, Colorado, and then he built a tower, which was not finished, which uh, would, would which is the original internet, I think, because it, it would provide worldwide um, data and also power. Uh, so Nikola Tesla basically invented uh, almost everything we use today, including the internet. And he passed away, unfortunately, in 1943. Nikola Tesla also lived through the last pandemic in 1918, the Spanish flu. Uh, so just like you uh, living through the pandemic, uh, Nikola Tesla also lived through the pandemic. Uh, but uh, uh, so we can take inspiration that we can get through this pandemic and uh, and and create a new society. Um, so uh, Nikola Tesla, I think, uh, took very great inspiration from his mother. Uh, he um, uh, was homeschooled by his mother. Um, he nearly died when he was a young, young, young child uh, of a disease, but he lived. And uh, he said that um, uh, a lot of his his inspiration came from his mother, who was a very intelligent woman. Um, he had a, a fascinating mind. He said that he could create new new inventions without any drawings or experiments. He could just do it through in his mind, which is a very unique uh, feature. And I said, and Nikola Tesla said his inspiration was his, was his mother, who, who he said was uh, um, a very, very great woman and, and she was an inventor. And you can see where Nikola Tesla lived in Croatia. Nikola Tesla's father was a priest. And uh, in those days, if your uh, father was a priest, normally the son would become a priest as well. But Nikola had different ideas. He wanted to be an electrician. And uh, his father said no, he didn't, didn't want him to become an electrician. But Nikola uh, got very sick with cholera. And his father said, promised him, if you can survive, you can do. You can become an electrician. So Nikola Tesla lived, and then he began to study uh, electricity. He studied it in in uh, Vienna. By the way, Nikola Tesla never finished university. All right. So uh, uh, he, uh, this show, this shows that it's it, 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 it's in it's in you. You can be creative and innovative and entrepreneurial. Uh, uh, even if you don't finish university. Um, so his first great invention was the AC. AC means alternating current uh, polyphase system for motors and generators. Everywhere in the world uses AC power today. Uh, so everywhere in the world is really uh, indebted to Nikola Tesla for inventing this incredible um, invention. 
Um, and he said that uh, uh, that he came up with this idea uh, just in a flash of lightning. Uh, and he drew um, the diagram in, in the sand of, a, of the AC polyphase uh, system. Um, but we, as I said, everywhere today, we use AC power, we use AC motors uh, from powering your air conditioner, refrigerator, um, electric vehicles. Um, still, Tesla's invention is uh, one of the most greatest inventions of all time. So um, uh, after that great invention, which was, uh, of course, patented and developed um, and, and became a commercial product, uh, Tesla went to Tesla um, went to America, and uh, at that time, uh, you know, everything was happening in New York City. So he arrived um, in New York City at the age of twenty nine, and uh, he had no money. So uh, he he was uh, <laughs> digging 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 ditches in the road just to survive. But, but finally, one of his friends uh, wrote a letter letter to Thomas Edison. You probably know Thomas Edison as a famous uh, uh, inventor as well um, uh, of the light bulb. Um, and uh, he wrote a letter and uh, he said, I know two great men and you are one of them. The other one is this young man, meaning Tesla. So Edison hired uh, Tesla uh, to work in his company. This also shows having very good connections is really important. You can be the greatest genius in the world, but you need someone to connect you to uh, get, get your job or get you funding. So uh, become very good friends with uh, your dean and your professor and uh, also people in the companies. Uh, they can help you to, to reach your dreams. So um, uh, Tesla worked with um, uh, Thomas Edison for a few years. Uh, they actually had a great conflict because uh, Thomas Edison was a little bit old fashioned. He thought DC power was uh, DC power was uh, better than AC power. But Tesla was uh, maybe a, a man who knew ahead of his time uh, AC power had much more advantages. So their relationship didn't last very long because they had a great conflict about AC and uh, DC power. And um, actually, you can, you can watch a movie about this story, uh, which was released um, maybe three years ago, called The Current Wars. I highly recommend you to download or uh, watch this movie called The Current Wars. Uh, there we go, the current wars. Okay, so that's basically between AC and DC current. Who won? Uh, Tesla won the current wars, of course, because we all use AC power. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, so. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so uh, he was chosen by the uh, to light up the whole exposition using his AC power. Of course, Thomas Edison probably was very, very angry because he was not selected to use DC power. Uh, I think Tesla was at the height of his fame at this age, about 36. He invented the AC power, the... Um, uh, AC motor and and many and and it was being used, starting to be used all over the world. Um, this shows another thing. Uh, try to make use of uh, the years that you have in your twenties and thirties. Uh, most in, most inventors uh, do the greatest work in in those years, the twenties and the thirties. Um, and Tesla was similar as well. So um, as I mentioned before, there's a movie called The Current Wars, which I highly recommend you to watch. And it's about um, Edison wanting DC power and uh, um, Tesla, Tesla saying AC power is better. 
uh, Tesla had an, a second great backer, which was George Westinghouse. You probably still know there is a Westinghouse company. It's named after the original George Westinghouse. Uh, so Westinghouse gave Tesla a lot of money to develop his AC power, and uh, it ended up becoming um, the uh, ma main... Oh, hey, um, Thomas Edison, there's no Edison company anymore, but Thomas Edison's company became GE, General Electric, which is still around today. Now, uh, there were some uh, kind of tricks involved so uh, Thomas Edison wanted to uh, wanted people to think that Tesla's AC power was dangerous. So they had a public exhibition in New York where they killed an elephant with AC power. And uh, also uh, the first man executed with electricity, it used AC power. Um, now, of course, this was a bit of trickery because uh, DC power also can kill 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 animals and people. But Thomas Edison tried these kind of uh, 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 public displays to try to make people think Tesla was very dangerous uh, with AC power. But of course, yes, AC power can be dangerous, but so can DC power. Here's the Columbia exhibition I mentioned. Uh, it would have been fantastic. Wouldn't, wouldn't you love to be alive at that time and for the very first time to see electric light. And it was all lit, lit up with Tesla's uh, AC power. He then uh, went on to um, build a huge uh, hydroelectric generating plant in Niagara Falls. You, you might know Niagara Falls, one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. So he used that power to generate uh, electricity Stuart said today, if you go to Niagara Falls, you can see his generator still being used. After this time, Tesla started to become more, more looking at not so much commercial products, but looking at electricity and, uh, and information and uh, really inventing the future. Um, so, so he made a, he had a, he started to work more on his personal projects in, in a laboratory uh, in New York City. Um, you can see some photos here. One is Tesla passing 500,000 volts through his body in 1898. Another one is the famous author, Mark Twain, who was a good friend of Tesla, visiting his laboratory in 1895. Tesla also invented the X-ray. Um, so here you can see one of the first X-rays. There's someone's foot uh, in a in a shoe, and uh, he used this X-ray beams to develop that photograph. And um, <clears throat> Tesla also developed one of the first the first logic gate in the world. Um, he tried to make a machine which was a uh, uh, automated, uh, automated uh, ship, but uh, the patent shows uh, a logic gate in there. It's the first time in the world Tesla invented logic gate. Why is this important? All computers, all digital, everything related to uh, our digital economy is based on logic gates, uh, binary logic gates, ones and zeros, and Tesla invented it more than a hundred years ago. Um, Tesla wanted to do some bigger experiments. So he went to Colorado Springs um, and, he, and, he, and he designed some uh, experiments where uh, he tried to send signals around the world uh, using wireless, uh, wireless uh, sig uh, electricity. Um, and also he tried to um, he tried to uh, detect signals from, from space, from outer space. Uh, here's, a, here's a good quote. The gods of the storm burst forth with one of the greatest electrical displays ever witnessed. And for an hour, the heavens were lit with living fire. So um, now we, are, we uh, automatically assume we have wi wireless 
uh, data like uh, your phone uh, is connected to the, the wireless data uh, and Wi-Fi, etc. Tesla thought about this and invented this in, in Colorado Springs. This idea which, which we still haven't done yet, but it's possible. We can use the um, we can use the Earth's atmosphere as a way to conduct data and electricity. So uh, Tesla had the idea to use the ionosphere to send data anywhere in the world wirelessly. Uh, we still haven't got there. Um, so still Tesla, in Tesla's inventions, uh, not all of them have been come to fruition. And a lot of ideas for us to do in the future. Here's more pictures of Tesla with his uh, his de his uh, demonstrations. So um, in in 1905, uh, Tesla said he wants to make a worldwide wireless web. What does this sound like? This sounds like the internet. Yes, it's true. Uh, Tesla re really invented the internet way before his time. Um, and and uh, so uh, he was working on this more than a hundred years ago. He said it's not a dream; it's a simple feat of scientific electrical engineering, only expensive, blind, faint-hearted, doubting world. Um, so about seventy years later was the first internet, uh, uh, DARPANET, uh, which which was in America by the Department of Defense. Um, and so uh, we owe this to Tesla's original, original thinking and creativity. Here we go. Here's uh, some um, uh, interesting pictures. Uh, Tesla's worldwide, to Tesla's wireless world system, um, and uh, uh, one of the towers that he wanted to create to send wireless signals around the world. So. Um, J.P. Morgan, you, again, uh, you probably know J.P. Morgan is a very, very big bank. It's the biggest bank in the world. And it was founded by this person, the original J.P. Morgan. Uh, he, gave, he gave Tesla um, 150,000 US dollars, which at that time was a lot of money. Maybe it was worth a few million dollars to build this tower to send wireless signals around the world. But unfortunately, Tesla ran out of money and JP Morgan wouldn't give him any, any more money to finish his project. So we still, uh, although we owe the legacy of the internet to Tesla, he couldn't finish it himself because he ran out of money. And also at the same time, uh, uh, there was a person in Italy called Marconi who he, he said he invented the radio, but actually, if you look back in back through the patents, Tesla submitted patent for radio uh, before Marconi. Uh, he's you can see on the left hand side, Tesla submitted the radio patent in 1897. We're still using radio. Uh, your wireless phone is basically a radio receiver and transmitter. So again, Tesla was way ahead of its time and. Uh, was that was invented technologies that affect our world even today. So oh, Tesla was um, a man ahead of his time. He was born more than a hundred years ago, um, and he basically produced AC electricity, AC power, AC generators, radio, um, logic gates. And teleautomation, and and he inv he invented the idea of wireless wireless communication around the world, which is basically the internet. So uh, a very great man, and way ahead of his time. I hope he now that you know more about Tesla, you can be inspired yourself to make great inventions, to be creative, and to be a great innovator. Uh, for now and for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prof. Adrian.
for sharing your topic about the electrifying Nikola Tesla. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we are come to the question and answer session. There will be just one session for one or two uh, questions because we just have uh, 15 minutes. Any question from ballroom? Okay. Um, Bu Novita. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, you said that uh, Tesla is one of the inventor that uh, the invention is become the beginning of very powerful, powerful technology such as wireless until now. So uh, now we already in internet era or in society 4.0 to 5.0, right? Uh, and all of the thing is can be remote using uh, internet. So uh, what? What do you think, or do you have uh, any idea about the development of a uh, 5.0 society today? Thank you. Maybe this is my question. That's a great question. Thank you. Um, well, yes, I think we have come a, a very long way in terms of uh, uh, um, uh, electric invention, so uh, internet. Uh, high definition digital television, uh, virtual reality, um, computer graphics, electric ga electronic games. Um, so I think uh, there will be more and more developments. For example, virtual reality, uh, I think, uh, will become uh, everyone will have virtual reality in their house in the future. Uh, maybe you never have to leave your home. You do everything through virtual reality. Um, but uh, I think, so these are all still, the roots go back to Tesla, right? Uh, so what is the next uh, next Tesla? Um, uh, I, th I think uh, the next um, big change of society uh, has been shown to us in, in a very, very, very big way since 2020. And that is we still, even in this, very modern time, a tiny virus, uh, tiny, tiny size can, can, can beat us, right? Can hit more powerful than all of our inventions uh, and more powerful than every, every man, all right? So uh, I think, I think uh, it, it was shown to us through the pandemic, we still have no idea how to uh, uh, we have still very, very little idea how to um, overcome uh, viruses and pandemics. Who would believe that we still would have plagues in the 21st century? Um, so I think the next big era will be uh, in the um, era of medical science, uh, epidemiology, um, and, and also um, uh, inventors entrepreneurs to make um, new inventions in medical science. Uh, I think that uh, uh, this, 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 this was shown to us uh, since 2020. We have to, we, we have not, we, we can do incredible things with the internet, but we can't save lives from a tiny virus. So uh, th this is, a, I think, a very powerful message. Maybe from God. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Prof. Adrian and Bunovita. Maybe um, we have one question from Paji. Okay. Uh, good morning. I am Susan Aji from uh, banking and uh, finance uh, uh, studies prog uh, program studies studies program. Uh, Mr. Adrian, uh, as long as I know, Tesla is uh, one of the genius human who has noble ideals but has a life uh, less luck. <laughs> 
Uh, one of the uh, Tesla dreams is to make electricity generators from uh, free for human. That is called uh, electricity free for human. And Tesla uh, is the inventor of what is called the Tesla coil, yeah, as long as I know. And the system that allow wireless transfer of electricity are still popular in a scientific practice today. But the question is, uh, can the Tesla coil idea for free electricity still be realized today when the electricity price are high? Uh, no. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, that was one of the reasons that uh, in one of our slides I said JP Morgan stopped, stopped to give Tesla money and he ran out of money because he found out that Tesla wanted to make a wireless a worldwide wireless power machine so to give free electricity to everybody and jp morgan said how am i going to make money from that if you're giving the electricity away for free um so uh so i think that um that that uh, first of all there is technical challenges to making wireless power um and i think uh, uh, that they are quite difficult challenges um, second of all, who would build, uh, uh, as, as, as JP Morgan uh, said, who is going to fund such a project? Because um, you can't make money from it, right? People will get free, free power. And uh, so maybe, um, maybe some government um, may, may create such a system uh, to generate free electric power for for the uh, citizens but the um, main thing is that uh, uh, first there is some technical difficulties but two uh, the main reason is uh, no company wants to make such a system because they cannot charge <laughs> for the power okay thank you Baji and prof adrian Okay, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we are come to the last agenda. We would like to say thank you for keynote speaker, Prof. Adrian David Chok, PhD, and all of the audiences for active participation in the ballroom Zoom meeting. I will read out the conclusion of presentation today is the development of electrical technology has started a long time ago and human as developing research who make Tesla develop, as we know, one of them is electric car brands worldwide. In the future, we don't know what change will happen by implementation electrifying Tesla. Hopefully, the seminar from Prof. Adrian David Job will give benefit uh, for us. Thank you for attention. Stay healthy and see you. I turn the next session to MC. Thank you. Thank you.